My name is Natalie and I teach in the architecture department at Mesa and um, I teach AutoCAD and beginning design. So completely different courses. Um, but for, I just wanted to talk about um, my AutoCAD class and how I um, give feedback in that class because it's a little bit different, um, the file formats and all the things. So um, this is just a sample um, assignment that I have. And you notice that the students have to submit their actual file for um, AutoCAD, which is a DWG. And that's not supported by Canvas. Yet, I think that they're working on this. <laughs> um, but so there's no preview for me here, right? So what I have to do is I do have to come in and download um, that information and um, bring it onto my computer. And the way that the, I was giving feedback um, before all of this um, was through Jing. Um, and I don't know if you know about Jing or have um, experience with that. Um, let's see, why can't I find my little bubble here? But it's going away. <laughs> So, it's, unfortunately, um, that was the way that I would capture um, my screen and give feedback. Um, oh, here's my little Jing button. <laughs> so, this little thing where um, you could go ahead and um, create a window and either capture it as an image or you could capture it as a video. Um, so that was really easy. Um, the new um, program that I'm using or trying out, still learning, <laughs> is um, the Snagit tool. Um, and it's, it does the same thing, um, but it definitely helps uh, me give uh, feedback to my students, either again as an image or a video. And I think that for my class, um, sometimes that video is is perfect. That's exactly what they need because I can type something in the comments um, on uh, Canvas and they just don't get it. And then it's hard for me to, <laughs> you know, it's hard for me to translate all of this technical language into text that makes sense for them. Um, so I just wanted to show you uh, quickly how to use this. Again, I'm not going to go through everything, but this is how I use it. Um, I just go for the all-in-one tool. You can either do just an image or just a video, um, but if you do all in one, you have the option to do either. Um, so it allows you to hover over areas on your screen and just, it'll assume that that's what you wanna show, or you can again do that window um, where you um, click two points and it'll start recording that, okay? Um, so um, once you hit this record button, Again, it's, you can share your screen. I'll show you um, an example of that. So it opens it up into this editor um, and it saves all of your uh, stuff. So it's really easy to find um, everything. So um, let's just see an example of a video that I created. Wait, let's start that over. So I wanted to give you a little bit of feedback on your floor plan drawing here. So, I mean, it doesn't really matter what the content of that video is, but it's that, you know, the students can access that. Um, so, again, you can save it, you can share it um, in any, a lot of different platforms, but if you just want to save it as a file, and then when you go back to your Canvas, um, platform there, you can upload that as a comment. Um, you can just attach it as a file. Um, so that is, that's been really helpful. Um, again, giving those feedback, that, that video feedback, because that's something that I would do in class. Um, you know, I'd sit at their computer and say, oh no, this is how you do it. <laughs> um, and as, in this online environment, we don't have that, um, you know, we can't always do that, right? But um, again, there's these tools out there that can make that a, a lot more accessible to the students. So that's pretty much all I had, <laughs> um, but uh, hopefully that helps you guys. <laughs>